So when the U.S. Treasury blessed the state's list of qualified opportunity zones, uh, Summit County was already pulling together its Opportunity Zone Task Force, and they began meeting every Friday to identify who might be the best partners to bring into their cooperative work. Akron, Barberton, and Cuyahoga Falls each has projects and they're ready for funding. And the county is helping to get a pipeline of projects so that they can be marketed together. It is their cooperative approach that made them a perfect showcase for this event. Please welcome Brian Herschel and Dennis Tubbs, both from Summit County. Well, good afternoon, folks. Uh, my name is Dennis Tubbs. I'm the Assistant Director of Community and Economic Deve Development for Executive Eileen Shapiro. I am Brian Herschel. I am a project manager for our Chief of Staff. I uh, want to point out that we are one of uh, Ohio's only charter counties, two in Ohio, Cuyahoga and Summit. Uh, so we have a, a county executive and a chief of staff that, that runs our operation. So need a, a lot of support there. So. Right. So we're going to veer a little bit from the center line of the other presentation that you've heard today and talk a little bit about um, our collaborative effort for economic development. So next slide, please. Perfect. Thank you. In Summit County, we have uh, 16 opportunity zones. Uh, 13 of those are in the city of Akron. One is in the city of Cauga Falls and uh, two are in the city of Barberton. So what we've done is we have a collaborative team that meets uh, every Friday, and it's a, it's a wonderful two o'clock in the afternoon meeting that people are all excited about. So, <laughs> so we started building this team, and the, the, uh, uh, the, what we were looking at doing was using the county's infrastructure, our expertise, our GIS system, our economic development tools to, to support all of the cities that have opportunity zones within them. So right now we're at a point where um, I believe we're ahead of the curve. Um, Brian and I were in DC last week when they released the Opportunity Zone regs and talking to some of the folks who were at the event we attended. From a county perspective, I think we're one of the few counties that are doing what we're doing at a county level. So uh, next slide, please. Yeah, thanks, Dennis. Uh, and so really a lot of this work began as the county was engaged with the Greater Akron Chamber, the City of Akron, and uh, the GAR Foundation to put together one of our, uh, well, actually not one, but our first uh, regional economic development strategy. And so as we've been working with other partners, like our friend Joe Steffen is here from the City of Barberton um, uh, on putting together this strategy, it was really natural for us to uh, work together as we're putting together our Opportunity Zone perspectives because we have multiple communities that can benefit from this uh, uh, incentive. And as you can see here, what that allowed us to do was to create the task force that we were talking about with public and private partners, giving us input into the prospectus. So we had put some things together from a GIS perspective, put that in front of the group, and, and we also and we wanted that to be a tool so that our partners could use that to say, what's, what's so great about Barberton? Why do you want to invest an opportunity in Barberton and Calga Falls and so on? So with the prospectus, we are at a point right now where we're trying to uh, get that all wrapped up, and we'll talk about that a little here further on in the slide. So next slide, please. So some of the things that we have included in our prospectus uh, is what is an opportunity zone to, to start, uh, because folks that may not know about it and a lot of the, the things we've heard from folks in the community who have capital gains liabilities that are looking to take advantage of this program is, where do I start? I don't know what an opportunity zone is. So connecting them with folks in the community like our panelists here today um, that can help them take advantage of this incentive um, at, the, at the beginning of the prospectus. Uh, the advantages of investing in Summit County, both uh, uh, the tax benefits that Summit County has to offer as well as the state of Ohio. Um, demographic information, folks are gonna wanna know what are your commuting patterns. Um, uh, and, and different community assets, the so live work play. So a big uh, portion of that is focusing on what can I do when my employees at this business I'm investing in are done at work? Where can they go and have some fun? Where can I go for my lunch meetings? Our core industry sector, so folks know what kind of businesses they may be investing in in Summit County and what our strengths are. Uh, and then innovation and entrepreneurship in our community. What, what are we doing to grow in uh, our community from within? Um, and then including our uh, Elevate Greater Akron strategy 
and then closing out the prospectus with additional programming and investments that we can make from the public partners uh, in a potential project. Next slide, please. And uh, real quick, along with the uh, prospectus, we are also working with our partners to develop intelligence on our opportunity zones to the level of a job hub. So we're going to build that level of intelligence for all of our opportunity zones. And I think some of the panel members have talked about that uh, early on in the presentation today. So one thing we're also looking at is, uh, like I said, we're a very GIS-centric county. Um, we're also purchasing some software called the Opportunity Exchange. And it, I didn't realize it was as similar as it was to the state's uh, uh, program today, but we will definitely utilize both of those. And you can see on the slide here, it allows us to streamline our process and it helps us get, um, um, get uh, the, our projects up and running at a very fast pace. I mean, it, it, when I looked at the, pro, the application originally, it's almost like you have an additional staff person to put these projects together for you. It's kind of template driven, so you can be very specific as what you want to list in the uh, opportunity exchange. And it also allows you to kind of target your, um, I'm sorry, rate your projects, things that uh, may have community benefit to them, so you can target those and, and, and kind of vet your products, projects pretty accurately. So um, next slide, please. So we are actually launching our prospectus next week on May 1st at the Bounce Innovation Hub uh, in downtown Akron in one of our opportunity zones. Um, and so uh, we wanted to, to make sure to include that. So all are welcome to come. It's a free event, and that's from 3 to 5 o'clock. And we're, uh, we're really excited about that. We've had, I think I sent out about approximately 100 and 138, 140 invitations. So I think we're going to have a really good turnout. And uh, once again, our whole concept behind what we're doing is to bring the county in as, as a supportive partner for our three cities that have opportunity zones. And I think Joe, Stefan, who's here from Barberton, uh, we support the city very, you know, at everything they do, and we want to be that partner. And we're trying to make that whole statement of, I'm government, and I'm here to help, a little kinder, gentler. And we're also trying to have, in our opportunity zone effort, um, the public and private, we also want to have public to public. That's kind of why we took the initiative to take that lead. So um, with that, uh, thank you folks very much. We appreciate it. Very good. All right, guys, thank you. We're happy uh, to give you a little run through before you, you have your, uh, your prospectus launch event. And I've been to the Bounce Innovation Hub, actually was there about a month ago, and it's a great facility, um, and it's a great collaborative effort uh, of entrepreneurship and, and good economic development. Uh, processes and and um, it's good stuff so thank you very much so thoughts oh wise Stephen on uh, what's going on uh, in Summit County okay so here's my feedback very good by the way I do feel like this is a little bit like Shark Tank so I've never been in this role this is kind of fun that was the whole intent you know I know it yeah so okay here's my thought I one of the biggest challenges and You'll, everyone, it might be somewhat obvious, is to marry the investor who's seeking projects with the project who's seeking investors. And that is a very big deal. So for you to have that exchange platform, and I think if you uh, continue to build that out and kind of think about what that actually could look like, and I think the communities that actually figure out what that can look like, where they hold forums of some sort and they ought to be public private like you've got partnerships that look like we're predominantly public if some way your organization can have some um, some private uh, participation as well that would be good but anyway if the communities that can somehow hold forums and it's an exchange and by the way there's securities rules on this so you got to do it right but there's an exchange of where the investor and the developers are kind of aware that is actually a pretty good idea that's a really good that's a really good idea thanks Jen I really appreciated the presentation I felt like these are people who've put a lot of thought into what this opportunity is for them um, what they're looking for in a partner and I like that they've kind of opened their doors to the public for people who want to come out and see what they might be investing in very good and Gary finishing no. up here yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, the whole concept of the exchange, which we talked about a little earlier, makes just a ton of sense because it really is matching. To get the, any of the, these tax benefits, you have to have a capital gain. So you automatically, there's a matchmaking. You, to get benefits here, you got to match investors 
with projects. So the and we're seeing this, you know, we're seeing this sort of across the country, the cataloging of not not just what are the qualifying zones, but making it easier to so investors understand what how the rules work, but then also attracting you got to attract attract the capital and then the projects. So what I've seen with this exchange approach, oftentimes is you know getting down to the to the project by project, you know level where you're trying to match the projects with investors and. It helps to do it locally. So I'll make this comment just generally for what the industry is like. You've got, really, you can market your projects to two types of investors. There's the large funds, you know, 100 plus funds that have been formed across the United States. And you can invite those funds to town. Mm -hmm. I mean, show them what you have. You're marketing your projects to the funds. The funds are motivated. They've got commitments for the capital. And they're going to come in and buy that real estate or lease the real estate or work with the local developers. They're going to put the capital behind it to actually get it, get it done. That's one method that works very well. And the hard part there is you got to get the attention of the fund. They got lots of places they can spend their money and the rest. The other, and this is more organic where anybody can do this, and this gets simple. If you have a smaller group of, and this is where it makes sense of, bite off smaller projects. Don't put together, you know, a 10-phase, multi-phase project and try to raise capital for the whole thing. Take one piece, and you can go to local, local folks, local family office types, folks that have capital gains, and the folks that have capital gains can leverage their capital gain into borrowings, other sources of capital, and you can do these deals in a real simple way. A single one or two, three, four small club deal in a fund that put up the equity capital in small bite-sized pieces, mm -hmm. project by project. And what people want to do is once you do it once, it's much easier to do the second time, the third time, the fourth time. Yeah. So don't, yeah. I don't, you know, don't go into this thinking, oh my gosh, we have to go get Skybridge Capital or one of the big, you know, RXR, we got to get them out of New York and we got to bring them to our town. I mean. They, they might be interested, but like, you, you know, think, think locally as well. Sure. And that's really important. Sure. You know, and my, my head is sitting here, you know, I'm, I'm spinning, thinking, you know, maybe that's a great way, like we do with our small business development centers and our business matchmaking events. We just had one in Dayton yesterday. Maybe we can do regional events throughout the state where we bring these, where we bring investors and communities uh, together uh, to, to see who uh, is best fit. Uh, for, for to take advantage of those things and really and really make them pop, guys from Summit County, thank you so much uh, for being here today. You are a great contributor, and my panelists Gary, Jen, and Stephen, you guys are great. Uh, the key to, to being successful is surrounding yourself with people who have brighter minds than you. So thank you so much uh, for contributing uh, today as well. Thank you.